Hello and welcome back. We are here working on a unique project that we have never worked on before. It's something called a dry swale, which you can see uh, this is one we've actually already installed. We're actually almost coming to the end of this job here, but just to um, give you guys an idea, essentially this is one really long street of about uh, 68 lots, I think it is. I think it's 68 from all the way down there. And we have to dig this trench two meters wide and install a clean out on every unit. So, uh, or sorry, two clean outs, one on each side. So it'll be one on that end. So that one and that one it's for this house. And then it'll be the one beside it. And then the far one over there for that house. And every house is contained um, having two um, clean outs. And we're just gonna tie in from here to there. We originally came down that way. We ended off there. And then bricklayers around this house, we had to come off. So anyways, now we're gonna tie these two together and we're gonna be finished the site. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process here. because This is a new thing for us and it's been a learning curve, but we have a little bit of it down here. The other thing is we have to install these runs from the downspouts. We gotta collect the two downspouts that come down from each house on each side, collect them, bring them down, and they just come and terminate into the trench like this. They're not connected to anything. There's a lot of things going on here, so we're gonna take you through it and uh, see a little bit of the process here. So that's cut. <laughs> this is just stub to there. So this is dead pipe here. And we're gonna connect into here. So we're gonna 45 this up, bring it up to our grade, and then put a Y off so we can connect our black weeper pipe into it. Beauty. Bring it in our three quarter clear stone. In the actual trench, we got to put a two inch clear stone. That's what the engineer requires here on this site. So, and then we uh, bring it up to uh, about six inches below where our final grade is going to be. All right, so here we're getting the four inch pipes in. This house here, we're just gonna leave them stubbed up like this. There's no downspouts, as they just finished uh, bricking this house literally like a day ago and pulled the scaffolds off. So, but ideally it would look like this. Gotta do a Y, 45 and up, keep going, 45 and up. 
and connect. Everyone is different, but essentially that's kind of how they work out. Okay, so we just finished up this last one here. Got that last pipe in, gravel in, so it's time to get the machine out of here. And then I just gotta go nick that little piece on the other side that I can't reach. So let's give you a different perspective here. Catch. the final bit of fabric okay so you can see here our pipe is uh, all connected so it's connected to the T or sorry this Y from both ends got the stone going in we're gonna fill this up with about 60 centimeters or two feet of uh, the two inch gravel then we're gonna level it out flip this fabric over and put another full roll of fabric on top sealing everything up and then we backfill, put in the driveways again, 